Hello, everyone. Are you scared of pretty pastas? Well, here's the very first episode of Are You Afraid of the Creepy Pasta Tales? Okay, the first episode is gonna be a Looney Tunes Creepy Pasta, as you know. It's called Angry Sylvester. I'm pretty sure that a lot of you remember watching Looney Tunes as a kid. So do I. And my favorite character was Sylvester the Cat. Until one night back in the summer of 1998, I saw an episode that rather frightened me. But since the cartoon played at late night, I should have already gotten to bed. I was half asleep, so I only remember parts of it. Like a creepy TV in Sylvester's room that turned on all by itself. I thought maybe it was just a nightmare. Sadly, it wasn't. One year later, the next summer, my brother and I were bored in the afternoon, so we watched. So we decided to watch some TV. We flicked, flicked the Cartoon Network just in time when Looney Tunes was starting. They played two normal episodes of Sylvester, nothing special, except for one thing. When the second part was coming to its end, my brother and I felt like something wasn't right. We thought it might show that certain episode once again, and it happened. Angry Sylvester. The episode didn't have the same intro that most of the Looney Tunes cartoons have had. Neither the catchy little title music. It just skipped right to the title screen. It didn't even fade. It just switched right there. There was no title written on the screen. It just showed the living room of the house and it looked like it was drawn entirely in only two colors. Blood red and blacked as emptiness. There wasn't any music there either. The only sound that could be heard during this part was a woman saying, directed by. And the creepy thing about it that was that it was in our country's lang native lang language, Hungarian. And this happened way before Cartoon Network started broadcasting in our country's latest native language. And it sounded like if the announcer was being strangled by something, then the episode started. Once again, it didn't fade to the beginning. It just switched right there. It showed Sylvester standing in front of something that looked like a military base. There wasn't any music or sound in here either. Just dead silence. Sylvester also didn't look like he did in the other cartoons. He looked bruised and badly beaten, and his eyes had no pupils. He didn't say anything. He just looked really angry. In the next scene, he entered a military base. It was empty. No guards or soldiers were there. But Sylvester had still entered. And he wanted to get revenge on the people for what they did to him. So he decided to sabotage the military base by destroying all the lights hanging from the ceiling. The scene also looked very disturbing. While Sylvester was tearing down the lights, his claws grew to a ridiculous size and they were covered in blood and oil. The only sound that could be heard during the scene was the sound of sparkling electricity, which also sounded very loud and frighteningly realistic. The scene also was flashing rapidly, making it look even more scary, and also dangerous to people who suffered from epilepsy. The same scene also repeated itself ten times until it cut to the next scene. In the next scene, Sylvester was at home. However, Granny, Tweety, or Hector were nowhere to be found. He was all alone. His, also, his room also looked empty. 
and scary. The floor was blood red, and the walls looked like if they were on fire. The room contained two tables. A large one that had something that looked like a toy Dalek and a screwdriver on it, and a small one that had an ancient TV on it. There was also a window in the background, but its beams were misaligned, so it looked like an inverted crucifix. But outside, it's just pitch black, not as if it was night outside, but as thought there were literally no existence outside that window. So Sylvester proceeded to prepare his toy delic with a screwdriver when the seat when suddenly the TV on the smaller table behind him turned on by itself. The TV showed an extremely creepy cartoon. The background music sounded like someone was rang randomly banging an electric guitar and his recording was reversed and played back that way. It started, sh sh by it started by showing a force with a cartoon moon, cartoony moon above it with an extremely creepy look on his face. A few seconds later, it switched to a long room. The room was empty, but something could be heard lurking at the end of the room, and it made a really creepy metallic thumping sound with every step it made. A few seconds later, it switched to the other end of the room. Porky Pig was standing there, also looking angry, and he was holding a pistol in his hand, and he didn't look bruised like Sylvester did. He said something to the monster at the other end of the room, then fired his gun a few times. After that, it went static, and a few seconds later, a really loud bang was heard and the screen faded to red. A few seconds later, the red screen faded back to Sylvester in his room, standing to, to the wreckage of his TV. He even looked more scary and even more bruised. Also, his eyes were blood red this time. The creepiness of the image of angry Sylvester stayed on the screen for about 10 seconds. Then it just went black. About half a minute later, Cartoon Network came back with a normal coming up next screen. Alright, so that was it. Wow. That's about that's Angry Sylvester. Wow. I thought this was weird and funny. But it's so so cliched. There was no ending also. And it was under it's so underrated this creepy pasta about a Looney Tunes cartoon about angry Sylvester. I enjoyed it. It was weird and it's, it's creepy also, but it's still funny. Next the next episode there'll be is Angry Sylvester The Revenge Episode 2 See you in the next episode Don't forget to subscribe to Are You Afraid of the Creepypasta's Tales website and you'll have a second episode and more episodes of the Creepypasta Tales including my two more Creepypastas Angry Sylvester The Revenge in episode 3, American Dead, The Lost Episode.